Have you ever thought about it? How we always want everything to be perfect. Why do we stay up so late surrounded and trapped by the ideas in our mind that we don't even want to exist? Who puts them there? Why do our brains think if we suffocate in our own sad, silly scenarios that it buys us time? And what exactly does it buy us time for? To make sure we avoid those unrealistic scenarios? Have you ever thought about it? Have you ever thought about how we fall in love with scents? Sweet, flowery, maybe even musky? And if something doesn't come along as something our senses love, we disregard it. And maybe we hold on to the sense that are still left on certain objects from certain people, because that way they're still there. Have you ever thought about how we constantly fix things until they're perfect? And if it's not perfect, we collapse? Have you ever thought about why you're even here? If you just put on the clothes out of your closet, only for all of them to end up on the floor. Have you ever thought about why you end up on that same floor at 2 a.m.? And how everything seems to fall to the floor. Have you ever thought about running water? And how you feel exactly and endlessly like that, constantly moving, never stopping until you turn off? Because you have the power. You have the power to keep moving, and you have the power to turn yourself off, like a light switch. Have you ever thought about how perfect is only a viewpoint? <laughs> and you can choose to define what is perfect to you. And you can choose to view anything as perfect. Because you have the power to view it as so. Not to get it confused with narcissism, but I'm talking about the power of possible, perpetual positivity. Let it prosper.